Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Caleb. I'm in my grow tent here with a whole bunch of grain spawn bags colonizing. Uh, yeah, I'm about to do a break and shake here. I just kind of wanted to go through and maybe document what's going on here before that process. Uh, you know, just I think it'd be interesting for me and, and maybe some other people who'd want to see it. So... Yeah, a lot of this stuff, well, all of this stuff really comes from larger batches. So I do a whole lot of popcorn. So um, these all probably come from different batches. Uh, this all-in-one bag comes from a single batch that's been going out. I've been selling a lot of the, the bags that have come from the same batch this has come from. Same story with this rye. So... Yeah, I like to test these products, obviously, and, and just try and get a window into how it's going for the people who have bought these bags. Uh, it just gives me a lot of peace of mind. It makes me feel good. Uh, know that my uh, product quality is actually staying on par with where I want it to be. And I'm happy with how all of this is performing, so good news on that front. Um, so let's go ahead and, and take a look at what we have going here because I want to start experimenting with different genetics. Really, I want to I want to get to know these genetics and and how they behave and and we'll get a little bit more into it here. Like, for example, I've got this golden teacher right here and these all of these bags i yeah except for the all-in-one and these rye bags with the injection ports all of these other bags have had agar wedges thrown in there of different uh things that i'm growing out and a lot of that has been from swabs so i've got gt and i guess on the label i put mss1 uh, so this has come from the one plate that I got from a swab. I think MSS is more typical uh, for microspore syringe, but I put that for microspore swab, whatever, I don't care. So yeah, this is how <laughs> I, I need to get a better setup in here, <laughs> but this works for now. Um, this is how one piece, I guess there's two different spots growing in there, but this is how... I guess pretty much one piece looks um, colonizing pretty well. Uh, it's kind of hard to hold this and focus the camera, but you'll probably be able to notice some nice rhizomorphic growth on there. Yeah, I apologize. My phone camera isn't very good. This is like an iPhone 12 mini or something. I gotta upgrade, but yeah, so point is that's what that looks like. That came from one spot on the multi-spore uh, agar plate. And then we got this guy right here. Unbelievable. This was November 14th. Today is December 3rd, so you know, I could have broken up these bags a long time ago, but I've, I'm kind of letting the slow ones do their thing and letting the fast ones do their thing. This is the fastest one. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Th <laughs> these are like a few agar wedges that I threw in there. I haven't mixed this once. And you can tell because of how distinctly separate this is. You can see the, the lines of mycelium just advancing downwards. I mean, this is one that I am going to take a whole bunch of transfers from. I'm going to take some individual kernels and just throw them all on like a whole bunch of plates. I will probably give those plates away at a mushroom meetup or something. Oh, I almost dropped it. Uh, my finger's going out. Losing strength. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is just ridiculous. These are some really really good genes compared to everything else in here i mean this is maybe second and this is some titanic that i got from a friend um shout out to 
uh, uh, I don't know if she wants to be named, but shout out to you. You know who you are. So that's doing pretty good. And then we've got like some kind of slow going ones. This one's Thai elephant dung. Uh, comes from a kind of old plate. And I mean, that's not very good, but that is gonna come down to, to genetics. I, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with this corn realistically. So it's just really interesting to see how all of these different genetic variables are playing out. This one is Shock the Uncut. I was given that at a mushroom meetup. Let's see, what haven't we looked at? Oh, we've got some Roger Rabbit. I was gifted that from Eric at ENB Supply. Dude, this stuff is doing awesome. If you happen to be watching, <laughs> excited to grow this one out. Classic, classic Roger Rabbit. Um, there's a lot of history behind this one. I'm not going to go into it. I honestly don't know it that well, but I know there's a lot of history. This one looks like it's doing great. You know, the lighting in here isn't very good to begin with because I just have this one light bar. So that's why it's so hard to focus. But guys, you're going to have to just deal with it. <laughs> just... I don't, I can't go get a new camera right this instant, and I want to make this video, so, I mean, yeah, I, I really like this. What else are we going to look at real quick? I guess we can take a peek at this all-in-one bag right here. Oh, we've got some humble ape from an agar wedge. I just threw that in the corner right here. No, I can't point and hold the phone, but right there in the corner. And you can see it just proliferating throughout the core beautifully. Um, I'd say that's about ready for a, a break and shake right there. So decided to grow that one out. Um, that was given to me by Emily. She is involved in the Ladies of Mycology group. Shout out to her. Shout out to Humble Ape, the guy who uh, made that albino penis envy variant so excited to see that come out uh what else do we got going here oh oh okay so this is this was the gt and then i guess yeah we looked at this one titanic i just remember both of these are doing really well first place second place um this all-in-one bag is doing fantastic this is garlic knot i got that over a year ago now from Colorado Cultures. Really interesting one. I think it's a uh, penis envy variant. It blobs up always the first flush. You pull those blobs off and it comes out with some nice big chonkers. So uh, I can't see anything peeking through the other side, but yeah, I'm going to give this one a mix for sure. I mean, honestly, I'm going to mix all of these at once right after I make this video or right after I end this video. What we got here? Uh, Jedi Mindfuck. This one has been acting weird on the plate. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it looks a little weird in the bag, too. I mean, the you can you can actually see the agar wedge in there. It is the same color as the corn, pretty much. It's kind of hard to make out, but uh, this one might need two mixes. We'll give it that initial boost here in a little bit. Um, got another Titanic variant. All of the Titanics in here come from a, a first uh, germination of a swab or of a spore print. So that's going to vary a lot in the genetics we're seeing. That'll be interesting to grow all of these out. All right, are you getting tired of looking at colonizing corn yet? Um, this one I braked and shaked. I, I always say that braked and shake, broken choke, broken shook. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. 
I did that to this one a couple days ago now. So a lot of this stuff could have gone a lot faster, I think, if I would have timed what I've been doing a little bit better, but uh, I'm not in any huge rush here. So that one's going to be done in a few days. Uh, right along with, there's one of garlic knot somewhere around here. Yeah, I did the same thing to this one. So this one's probably only going to need a few days. A lot of these bags could look like this right now, but like I said, I'm not in any hurry. I'm not really breaking and shaking. Breaking and shaking, it's not that hard. Um, yeah, so. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to do that right after I end this video, and then... I will probably make a follow-up video in a little bit. But yeah, we're at about 11 minutes, so I'm going to call it good there. Uh, guys, take care of yourselves. Uh, have fun with your mushroom endeavors. All right, see ya.